Good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of Highly Recommended. I'm your host, Silver, and uh, let's get this party started. It's Friday afternoon. Welcome. Happy weekend. It's here. All right. It's going to be a few minutes before I smoke the first bowl. I'm going to warn you, this is probably going to be a long vlog. Um, my piece came. It's right here. The only thing I've done is um, cut the top so to make it easy access. And I visited the dispensary that's uh, about 45 minutes away from me. And they were running... Um, fire specials for uh, ounce specials for uh, $180 so I got something completely different and I'm, I'm really excited and stay tuned this is going to en encompass the unboxing and a new strain review it's a strain I've had before but not by this particular company so, um, pretty much everything that I am retrying re here in uh, Pennsylvania, uh, just a notification here, it is a medical state and I do have my med card. So, um, I tried a different rec and everything, um, every, every new bud that I'm trying is different. Uh, it's different brands completely than what I'm used to in California. So, all right. So, um, I'm trying a brand new brand. It's a, a strain that I've had before. It's good, it looked fire on the website. So, I don't know, it's got mixed reviews on Reddit. So, we shall see. First things first. Let's get to the new piece. All right. The first thing I see as I open the box is a lot of extra paper packaging, which is good. I am not going to complain when they protect my stuff that I've just spent some money on. Individually wrapped things, and then the piece itself. Yeah, yeah, nothing else all in the box. My cats will enjoy it. Ugh. All right, so. First things first, let's see what is in this wrap. Just using a pair of scissors, nothing fancy. It'll get the job done, it'll get the job done quickly. It ended up being from a cuticle pack that I had, but you know what? It works. Oh, my ash catchers, love it. Yep. Check that out. Sweet. Just a nice little drop down in. Ash catch. Beautiful. And I imagine that's probably the same. Because I ordered two. Because, you know, uh, I always end up breaking one. And they weren't horribly expensive. So, you know, it is what it is. Yep, that is exactly what it is. So uh, they're both made for the 14 millimeter bowls. Uh, so absolutely fire. Sweet. Good. And then my adapter came, my uh, 14 millimeter male to uh, the 18 millimeter female, just a, a spare one. And the one I didn't have is the 14 millimeter male to a 14 millimeter female to um, to make it fit a little bit, to make things fit a little bit better. So there we go. We've got two ash catchers and more bubble wrap. Yay, cats will love that too. All right. Here we go. The piece. It's been a while since I bought a new piece. So kind of excited. Right, that was relatively easy. It's really well bubble wrapped. They've I like that. Look at on the outside and bubble wrapped but taped to the outside bubble wrap is the slide. Okay. 
Yep, that is my slide. Just a single hole slide. All right. Okay. More bubble wrap. And then bubble wrap. Really well packaged and cared for. Nothing was shaking or breaking when I uh, got the pack. Um, they definitely took care of my piece. Oh, thank goodness it wasn't that horrible yellow one. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. What a beauty. I love it. Love it already. It's by a company called Pulsar. And it has the inline. It is a 12-inch bong. It's got the inline to a, it looks like a shower head perk. All right. I will be right back. I am going to go rinse this out and fill it up with some ice cold water. Be right back. All right, and while I was cleaning it and filling it, I figured out the water levels to make it just right and to prevent any splash on me lips. And now, do I want to? My goodness, I do. One second. Nope, that was a little too soon. I have a spray bottle here for my kitties, so I'm just going to add just a little bit of it's not meant to cool the hit. It doesn't do anything like that. It's just going to collect it in the bottom. And that's all that will do for bad kitties. They get sprayed. That's the punishment. <laughs> or the redirection, I should say. All right. Oh, I'm liking this. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. What more, what more could you ask for, right? Except for what's coming next, the bud. All right. So when I placed the order online, um, they only allowed me to order a half ounce of one and a half ounce of another. It wouldn't let me order a full ounce. But when I got there, I was able to change it up and let them know that, hey, I wanted the full ounce of this brand, but they didn't have it. They wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, these are heavy jars. Okay. Right. So the one thing I got is just something they happened to get in. I picked up some uh, Insa Keith, and it is uh, a hybrid, and... Um, I've yet to see kefir hash around here, so I'm really stoked. This is Sunshine Number no. 4. It was the only sativa dominant hybrid they had, so I'm just excited to pick up a little bit of extra keef. Won't be using that today, but that's okay. So, it's by a company called Matter, and it is LVC. Lava Cake. All right, and we are talking in at, oh, let me see here. Well, yeah, 20, looks three, 23% THC. So I've had lava cake before. I have not had it by this brand or in this state. So let's see what we got. Uh, smells good. Yeah, it smells real good. I've, I've got some mixed reviews on this, so I'm just going to pick this up, flip you around, and give you a close-up right there. Lava cake. All right. And, and that. Sorry about the uh, gut-wrenching, twisting, turning, but uh, I will take a close-up at a later date and post that, or not a later date, a later time, but let's, uh, yeah, let's not wait any longer and grind up a couple of these nugs so it's not dry, it's not what I'd call moist, but it's sure not dry like I'd heard some of the horror stories. I mean, it smells good, it looks pretty good. I'll be able to tell better with a close-up under my flash, 
uh, for the trichomes because I, I can't see all that well. All right. I hear you, kitty. <laughs> I could smell it in the jar, but once I broke the butt up, I could, it's gassy. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, yummy. And this is um, my absolute first uh, hit out of a bong. I have sucked on my vape pen a little bit today, but I have not done a bong hit. So yeah, let me pull my ashtray up. And then without further waiting, let me just give a one little close up here. Let me find a, a handhold for this little nug here. Maybe not that one. And then a little handhold. It's very well trimmed. I'm surprised. Not so bad. All right. It smells really good. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been waiting for Friday. <laughs> been waiting for my new piece. And uh, yeah, new piece, um, new strain. And let's do it. Spoonful, bowlful. Cheers. Flashes back easily. I did notice that. Wow. Let me wet my whistle here for a second. Let's do that. I really like the blue color. I'm pleased. That's my favorite color. It's what you see me primarily wearing. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked about that. to the wreck uh, 45 minute ride on my motorcycle so uh, I'm just fueling up on some electrolyte water <sighs> that was really good taste was all right the smell was really good um, it, it's not dry it doesn't have a bad taste it's a little harsh on the throat but honestly I haven't met a bud that wasn't so, when you combustion burn, it's going to be harsh, especially when you torch or, you know, butane it. Let's try that again. All right, number two, dos bowls. All right. <coughs> and this time I'm going to use my wick just to see if I can get a better flavor out of the bud. Lighting a wick with a torch is a little bit of overkill. Okay, here we go. Number two.
Oh, there's some green in there. I gotta suck gentler on this. I need a minute. Sorry, folks. Raw OG do his one big rip recently, and um, I'm like, that bowl is huge, and he packed that. Oi. <coughs> <coughs> huh. I wish you would have waited out. I'm curious to see how much was in there. I am sweating. took that rip and he didn't cough right away and I was like wow I was shocked because uh, I was coughing for him <laughs> he coughed after but it was delayed I'm surprised by that <coughs> I gotta lighten up on those man boy Throats punched. Boom. That's so cool. I have a really cool one again that I'm gonna like using. I mean, I like. Okay, I love the the uh, the bougie vase bong. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Boogie, boogie, I don't know. <laughs> Bougie, I don't know. <laughs> Fancy French words, whatever. Um, but um, I like using that, but I'm, I'm afraid it's going to like tip over. It's it's so teetery. And this is, but this really balances it out instead of looking like it's just going to. So I'm, I don't know. I'm excited. My first big bong, like, nice bong, was an inline like that. And I, I like the bent necks. It also prevents that splash back. But it's also easier to kind of lean into the hit if it's kind of greeting you for a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm not necessarily feeling the effects, but I'm talking a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling the effects. So it's subtle. Um, um, it just it smells like lava cake I've had lava cake before and it, it smells like lava cake and that's uh, delicious and this one is uh, they're saying it's a hybrid uh, but I, I'm pretty sure it's indica dominant but 
it's all right because uh, they're pure sativas around here are kind of having the opposite effect i don't know it's the weirdest weirdest thing ever maybe i just need a break from sativas it's been like six years of sativa only so uh, and i do love it it energizes me makes me creative uh, but i'm finding some of the hybrids are able to do that as well just not like a good good pure sativa will and it's really hard trying to find those anymore just getting a hold of sativas in general like come on Whew. sorry i'm uh, chattering your ears off and i've been working all morning uh up until my rec stop and um talking talking so i've got my social out <laughs> so yeah i'm actually starting to feel it in the eyes behind the eyes uh, feels really good very relaxing wow i'm digging the strain discounts don't stack there um i still get my 30 percent off uh first timer visit although it was my second time um i didn't use it the first time because they don't stack and it didn't stack today because 30 percent off a of 180 would have been sweet but i did get 30 percent off of the keef so i don't even send it 210 out the door which is pretty reasonable Because you're at, at, in California, uh, an eighty-dollar ounce, and there were plenty, you'd still end up paying a hundred and twenty dollars out the door with tax. So, med card or not, what was the key? Oh, not bad, thirty dollars. Twenty-seven fifty and eight. And it was half off. Well, twenty-seven fifty off. Wow. What about the key? Where's that? Can I get my thirty percent off the key? No, but that's cool. It was thirty dollars, which is not bad. And anyway. Uh, what, 30% off? I don't know, my math is not that good. <laughs> Important information about your medication. And the craziest freaking thing ever here is every label that leaves their facility, or every package, every jar, every cartridge whatever box has to have the patient label on it and it has to match up with the specific lot number this I learned today so yeah this is exciting <laughs> I like new strains I like getting a good deal because I can save it you know, and keep it and put humidipax in a jar and it'll be maybe not as fresh as day one, but when is it ever as fresh as day one? You're right, day one. Boom. All right, I am <laughs> just rambling. The stoner, stoner ramble. Oh, yeah. Three. All right, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm still figuring out the whole camera thing, so please bear with me in the nausea. Yeah. 
I am ready to face the day. <laughs> <coughs> Debating if I want to work this afternoon or just enjoy my Friday. I have to work a couple of hours tomorrow on my Saturday. So my plans that I'd had uh, set in motion for a couple of weeks to go to a training uh, in uh, about an hour and a half away for uh, a volunteer thing that I signed up for. So if I don't do one, I don't think I get to do the other, but um, it's okay. And it's a new start, the first very start tomorrow, and I'd rather not leave uh, my technician uh, on their own, you know, all by themselves, because uh, it's, it's intimidating. It's via telehealth, but uh, it's still uh, it's still a helpful presence. So responsibility kicks in, and I gotta work a couple of hours tomorrow, and I'm okay with that. So that's uh, why I like I said I worked a few hours this morning, and I had a break, and then I'm supposed to work a few hours in the afternoon, but I don't have to. It's kind of extra, but. <laughs> I got sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying it too. Boom. So that's what I'm going to be doing for Saturday is working a little bit. And then after the training, I was supposed to go visit a buddy I hadn't seen for a while. And um, so we're still doing that, but I'll be able to do it earlier now. So I not have such a busy, busy long day because before I'd had to leave by 7.30 in the morning. So. Yeah. Because I have to drive to that for the volunteer thing. And it's not close and it's not convenient but you know uh I really wanted to do it when I signed up for it, but uh, uh, situations have changed, circumstances have changed, and uh, now I have to <laughs> kind of work every Saturday. So, um, and I was going to have the client reassigned, but no, no, I'll keep it. It's my client, so I can give up a couple of hours on a Saturday. It's all right. It's not like I have a hard job. It's difficult and taxing, uh, but I enjoy it. I love it. I've been educated for it. Uh, I've been doing it for the past nine years. Uh, I'm really good at it. And I'm in it for the right reasons um, in the human services field. Yeah, not like I have a hard life, so I work from home. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's a pep talk for myself, too. I've already made the decision, and I'm just reinforcing myself for having made it. Four! No, I've never been able to do smoke tricks, and I was a smoker. <coughs> Don't care. It's not why I was smoking. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, this is a half hour vlog so far. I'm not quite done yet. I think I got another couple of bulls in me. So, thanks for taking your afternoon and spending it with me. I know it's long. I know a lot of mine are long, but 
I, I rarely <coughs> go hit my bong once or twice and then go do something. It's like, no, if, if I'm hitting my bong, I'm kind of, that's what I'm doing. That's, I've made time for that. <coughs> Anything else is like a vape pen on the go. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with my purchases today. And then on the way back from the wreck, um, Monday I went for the beard trim and I was looking around for smoke shops and, um, to buy glass, you know, instead of ordering it online. But everything was closed and there was nothing in my area. So the one place that I really wanted to go <coughs> that had bongs on display in their, their display window up front, I stopped in on the way back from the, the dispensary. And uh, they had some beautiful, beautiful glass. And uh, I, I, there were, yeah, I was going to get another piece. But uh, it was cash only. Come on. It's, you know... 2022, ATM, debit. <laughs> it's really easy to get a tap. The, the, the setup can be very simple. It's probably, yes, there is a cost, but it's not as bad as you think. Just to have a little tablet with a card reader. My goodness, they did that delivering pot in, Mar in California, right? They'd have card readers attached to their phone. You'd stick your card in their phone and take care of it on their phone. It was the most convenient thing ever. <laughs> My goodness, I'm still smelling this. It is. It smells really good. Gassy. It, indica. You could smell the indica. I can smell the indica. I can't, I, I can't describe what I'm smelling. It smells like lava cake. <laughs> Pungent, gas, uh, odiferous, but in a very pot way, which is pleasant. So, has a very strong odor. But it's uh, a good, <laughs> yeah, good. Ah, oh, yeah. I got it all scooped up and ready, and then I didn't do anything with it. Now I'm going to do something with it. Just about, I don't know what you call that, a half a bowl? I can't see. <laughs> I'm blocking my sight. Duh. All right. I don't know. Less seems like the bowl gets bigger as it gets, well, the funnel goes up. So, it's about the max my lungs can handle unless I've really prepped them like the other day. For some reason, I had lungs of steel for some reason. Which is rare nowadays. Ooh, don't spray that. <laughs> Alright, let's not do some overkill. Let's just use the regular lighter for this. Five. Light it up. of that left and uh, my finger is thicker than that so time for a new piece of string <coughs> bear with me little things I've learned don't move the tray table with the piece on it bad stuff happens <laughs> it's a bad combination <laughs> bear with me and the piece wasn't, you know, horribly expensive, but it, I mean, it was uh, like a hundred bucks, 105 bucks, something like that. And, you know, tax and all that. 
but it, it was... Yeah. I'm happy. I'm really pleased with it. Reamer, bull reamer ashtrays. It's just plastic. Um, Sarah had a rubber one. I thought I had one. I don't know. I might have left both with her, but uh, with a little little cone reamer in the middle, but it, it's silicone and, you know, <laughs> yeah, not quite as effective. And then Sunday, um, chaplain duties. And I get to visit my dad. And, yeah. Excitement. Hopefully some uh, Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 with my buddy on Xbox. Uh, that is one game that I highly recommend. It is a first-person zombie shooter. It is my staple. It is after... I've tried a lot, and, you know, Sarah and I used to dungeon, and I do like dungeon games, but that's just something that's better with a partner when you... when Especially games that you see the full screen, you know, together, and it's not a half screen. And some of those dungeoning games were exactly like that. It was great. We would campaign for hours sometimes. We would, we would set up, you know, dates or pl days to do that. And that was what we would do. And we'd sit there and smoke and we'd do boss hits before we hit the big fights. And we'd just journey around the world in uh, whatever <laughs> realm we were exploring that day. And it was awesome. And, uh, but that's better for two. Um, and then, uh, so I've tried Call of Duty, uh, one, two, three, <laughs> and the others. <laughs> uh, I've played first-person games where the movement of the game, I, 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 I was nauseous, and I had to return it because <laughs> it made me, made me car sick, and uh, it was just tilting and turning, and I can't do that. And if it's, if you got to use all the different combinations, and re I can't remember all that. I don't, I don't want to have the brave brain wink for that I, uh, I have other things that are more important for me than to remember Xbox moves so it's just not a priority I've never made it a priority and I don't have really great these <laughs> quick fast skills you know so um, and Left 4 Dead has never left me down uh, you buy two you can download all the content uh, and from one and it, it's just it's made it's it's the one I just keep going back to. It is my favorite game. And I've been playing with my buddy for six years, and if not seven. And um, uh, I've gone to his house twice, you know. And it was, it, it, he's, just, he's really fun to play with. And he lives in California, and he's a couple years older than me. And it's just a lot of fun. And we play together, we know each other. That we primarily that we're the only ones we really play with and we we set up times where you know we try to regularly play at least once a week uh, sometimes twice a week if we can do so on the weekend but uh, with the time difference it's been really challenging because uh, yeah I, I, I need to be in, in bed and asleep by 10 30 and, and that's only 7 30 there and his wife's still awake so Xbox is not a priority understood okay I put the the horse before the cart that time it's loaded up and then I can fire it up six It is uh, getting late. <laughs> Not late, but it's 
been 40 minute vlog and I can only imagine how long it's going to take to upload but long, let alone y'all watching it so I'm going to wrap it up at 7 a little bit of a hefty I just need a second because I just did that one Thank you all for spending the afternoon with me. I'm in the mood to chat. There may be more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful Friday night and a fantastic weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate getting high with you. And the company. Seven. Be medicated, be kind, I highly recommend it.